This is now video three of the quick starter series and you're almost finished. This will be a lot quicker than the last video where we set up your campaign templates. And there's only two more things you need before launching tier. Those two things are your mailing accounts and your email leads. This video, we're gonna set up your email accounts. You'll notice there's two different types of accounts here. POP3 is for receiving and extracting emails from your email account. SMTP is for sending emails. In many cases, your SMTP will be the same as your POP3 account. Tier will be extracting the email replies coming into your POP3 account and then filter them to the proper response template that you set in your campaigns earlier. That will then be sent out by the SMTP connection. Let me show you how this would be set up if you wanted to use a Gmail account. It's very easy to add um, one of these accounts. You just go down here to add account and you can set POP3 or SMTP. First, we're gonna set up a POP3 account. And if you click on the other tab down here, you'll see Gmail is already a pre-selected um, option here. So we can see it puts the host for you right here. So all you need to do is add your Gmail username and password. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. You'll also notice this drip feed account checkbox over here. Do not select this for now. All this does is in the future when it's extracting emails from this POP3 account, it'll put them into drip feed pending instead of your emails pending. But for now, just leave this unchecked. Once you have your username and password put in here, just simply click on test account. And we'll see that the account is working. So now you can go ahead and add the account. I wanna go over a few things you might run into when adding a Gmail account. Be sure that if your connection is not working and you get an error that looks something like this, incorrect account dash host settings. There's a lot of things that can throw this error. Maybe your username or your password is wrong, or maybe if you log into your Gmail account, you have to make sure that in the settings options, you allow a third party connection devices or else a software like Tier is not able to connect to your Gmail account. For adding an SMTP account, it's exactly the same thing. Just go ahead and change the option from POP3 to SMTP. It'll automatically change the port settings correctly for a Gmail. Go ahead and test the account and we see that it's working. So we can go ahead and add that. Tier is now ready to send and receive emails and run your campaign. Using your own domain definitely gives you more control of your emailing and is much less restrictive than using things like Gmail, which have daily sending limits and other restrictions. Setting up an email with your domain is super easy and can be done through your cPanel in a matter of seconds. Here is what your website control panel might look like. Depending on your hosting provider, the control panel might look a little different, but overall, they all are about the same. If you look on the left side, you'll see a tab called Stats. If you go ahead and expand that, you'll notice a tab called Dedicated or Shared IP Address. This is the IP address linking to your website, and this can normally be used as your host. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that and put it into tier as a POP3 account. Then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and create an email that you wanna send and receive emails to. So click on under the mail, there's an email accounts tab. So just go ahead and click on that and you will be brought to this page. So go ahead and create an email address, which is very simple. I'm just gonna make up a name, Joe, set my password and select unlimited and create the account. Once you see that your account has been created, just go ahead and highlight the, your account. And we'll go back and add that to tier as your username and password would be the password that you just created. I'm gonna go ahead and check the SSL, which uses port 995 and go ahead and test my account. And we see that it's working, so I can go ahead and add that. If you double click on the POP3, it'll add it back in here. I'll re-highlight the host and change it to SMTP. It'll change my port settings. And I can go ahead and add the host back in here and test it. And we see it's also working for SMTP. 
You'll notice over here the hourly sending limit. I know that HostGator has a sending limit of 500 emails per hour. Depending on your hosting provider, these limits will be different. So make sure you contact um, who's ever hosting your website and ask them what their SMTP hourly sending limits are and they'll usually tell you right away what it is. Maybe keep it anywhere from 50 to 100 emails an hour under their recommended limit or their allowed limit to make sure that you don't get in any kind of oversending ban issues. HostGator is one of my favorite people to use for this because they have a very high sending limit of 500 an hour. And since I'm using HostGator for this, I will just simply set this to 450 hourly sending limit, add the account, and it's added. Since for this campaign, I want to use my domain to email from and not Gmail, I'm going to uncheck the enable check mark box here. Normally, I would just delete it, but just for this video so you can see what the Gmail one looks like, I'm going to leave it up in there. There, so now I uncheck those two. So now it'll only use my domain email to send and receive emails from. Up on the left corner up here, you will see a settings button. You can set some additional uh, settings for your POP3 and your SMTP in here. You'll notice your general settings for POP3, and then you'll notice this intervals and timers tab. When you run tier, depending on what you put here, this will be how many uh, minutes delayed between each POP3 check. So by default, it's set to five. So this means every five minutes tier will go back into your email and look for all the replies that came in, extract them, and then filter them to the correct responses. Threads is how many threads you want working. I usually just keep this at uh, one and I always keep all the other default settings how they are the way tier comes. SMTP, same thing. You have your general settings. You also have the clock ignores. So maybe at a certain hour of the day, maybe really late at night, you can tell tier to ignore the SMTP timer, which means at these hours, no emails will be sent out through the SMTP. Just like POP3, you have your intervals and timer and your drip feed settings. When you import emails in a text file, they will be imported into the drip feed feature. So you can set how many emails you want Tier to send out every hour. By default, this is set to 500, but you can always change this. I usually like to keep it at around 250 to 500, depending on my campaign. Whenever you make changes, simply just exit out and it will automatically save in Tier. For those of you that already have email leads and are super eager to get started, I'll do a quick overview on how you can start sending your campaign right now. Over here on the left side, you will see the Import Export tab. Click on that and you'll come to this page. You'll notice here, the first thing you'll see is the template. You'll see response one, two, and three. The emails that we import, we obviously want to be sent to response one. So make sure response one is selected. Depending on your text file, you can import it as an email or name and email. For this example, we're just gonna do email. And a text file with your leads would look something like this. Just a text file with all your leads in it. Now you can import this text file either via drip feed or import the leads directly. If you import the leads directly, that means as soon as your SMTP is run, it'll send out all the pending emails. But if you import them as drip feed, uh, whatever your drip feed settings are is how slowly they're gonna be sent out. So if you email a list of 10,000 leads, it'll feed these leads at 500 an hour or whatever you set it to. If you upload your 10,000 leads with this feature, just the regular import leads, it'll send out all 10,000 of those leads as soon as your SMTP starts. So this usually isn't the best option if you have limits on your SMTP. So for this example, definitely use the import drip feed leads. Once these leads are imported, you'll see them down here. You'll see how many leads have been imported and you can go to the run autoresponder button. To start your POP3 and your SMTP timer, just click on and they've started. I also like to check the auto scroll log so when the, the, when the logs are made, you'll see exactly where they are. And since the timer is set to five minutes, this won't actually start for another five minutes. 
So if you're very eager to get started, just click on the manual POP3 check button and you'll notice it checked my account that I just created and it found zero email so it didn't do anything. Same if I run the manual SMTP check, it says there's no pending leads so it's canceled because obviously there's no pending leads. But you will have leads in here and I'll start sending and that's all there is to it. You're now ready to start running email leads through tier. It's time to start prospecting your emails. Move on to video four now. It's the final video that covers tier's email scraper feature, which can find and extract leads from any niche. And then those leads, you will be able to clean and verify them and import them into your template and run them just the way we just did right here. And that's all there is to it.